So we're here at Scone Oval for the Grand Final of 1999, the last Grand Final of this millennium, and the Scone team have run onto the field, and the team is Kane Allen at one, Justin Hall at two, Brad Adams three, Dean Taylor four, Wayne Headley five, Darrell Rando, the captain coach at six, Kevin Watts at seven, Clinton Adams at eight, David Madden takes over from Peter Warden, who is injured. 10, Adrian Gully, 11, Andrew Brown. 12 is Matthew Morris, 13, Khan Gleason. As the Corindai Grasshoppers now go onto the field, the fullback there is Darren Smith at one, Aaron Allen at two, Daniel Wilson at three. At four is Peter Gabardi, five is Sean Allen. Six is Corey Wilson, seven Michael Allen. Eight is Shane Allen, nine Nathan Sherlock, 10 Jason Allen, 11 Chris Allen, 12 Paul Allen, 13 Jason Holland. The crowd due to the wet weather here at Scone Oval this afternoon is down. Um, given to me approximately at two and a half thousand people in comparison for the grand final here between Denman and Scone last year, the crowd was estimated on that day at about three and a half thousand. Here's Shane Hain, the linesman of Mr. White and, and Mr. Wild and Mr. Knight. ...and past pe president who died last week and was buried this week. So could I just ask for a minute of silence, please? Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Play ball. Ladies and gentlemen, Scone won the Premiership last year. Corindai last won the Premiership under Brian Pertell in 1980 and 1981. So it's been a long time between drinks for the Corindai team. Almost 20 years since they won the Premiership. Scone looking for back-to-back -back Premierships under Darrell Rando. And uh, they're about to um, get the game underway. And Scone have kicked from the northern end of the ground. And uh, the Corindai Ford's about to bring it up as the Allen brothers move it forward to about the 30 metre line. Play the ball, goes along the back line. And Corey Wilson is on the deck. The ball is spun wide to Snow Allen, the captain of the Corindai team. And Corindai playing it tight early in this match. As once again the forwards spread it wide and they make ground almost to the halfway. Where the second row forward. Back to Wilson who put the ball on the kick. There is a loose ball. And Wilson goes back to recover.
Crindai again brought the ball up towards the halfway line. And on the move. Here's the Crindai second rower. Nathan Sherlock tackle with the ball and is going out to Corey Wilson. And Scone have brought the ball over the halfway line in the first few minutes of this match. Again, Wilson kicking the ball deep to Kane Allen. He watches it and moves out with the ball. Kane Allen has brought the ball out 20 metres from his own line. Grindai player injured in the tackle. And Scone bring the ball out another five or six metres. Crindai defence holding at the moment as going 30 metres out as the big fella Clinton Adams makes a further two or three metres. Now the ball goes wide to the second rower Brown. Rando with the ball, puts it high in the air. Put follow through from Stone and they have, have possession. Dangerous situation here for Corindai, but they've managed to come up with the ball, and this might be a Corindai try. Corindai have picked up the loose ball and are racing away, and they will score virtually under the post. Aaron Allen. Aaron Allen picks up the loose ball after Scone looked to be in a very, very promising situation, 30 or 40 metres out. And Aaron Allen. First try there to quick rider number two, Aaron Allen. So he could go to a lead of four points to nil over Scone. So Aaron Allen has picked up the loose ball. Very, very fast winger. Was in space. Kane Allen, second rower Brown. Rando with the ball. Puts it high in the air. Put follow through from Stone and they have, have possession. Dangerous situation here for Corindai, but they've managed to come up with the ball, and this might be a Corindai try. Corindai have picked up the loose ball and are racing away, and they will score virtually under the post. Aaron Allen. Aaron Allen picks up the loose ball after Scone looked to be in a very, very promising situation. Bunting. Back behind the bunting, please. Now the goal kicker here for Corindai is obliterated from my program with the rain, but it obviously is the reserve player on the ground. And we'll have to get his name for you later. Mick Clark. All my Corindai supporters are here, and Mick Clark is to kick for goal. Big front rower, Mick Clark. It's a shocking kick. The version unsuccessful, the score remains. Corindo Brown, Stone Hill. So the ball to be brought back to halfway, and Rando now looking to rally his troops. They are facing a deficit here of four points to nil, following that excellent try from Aaron Allen. And Dean Taylor will kick off. Punches the ball deep into Corindo territory. And now they're forwards. Uh, the Allen brothers attempt to bring it out. Ball is spread wide, and Corey Wilson on the move. But Rando was equal to the task and brought Corey Wilson down. Sherlock, the player, player of the final, I thought, last Sunday at Corindai. Nathan Sherlock organising around as Corindai bring the ball back to the 40 metre line. Goes wide to Corey Wilson again, using his strength. And pushing out for the tackle there. The scone back row are not big. There's the ball spun wide. And Corindai have the ball on the far side of the ground. Kane Allen coming across, lets it bounce. And Kane Allen now picks up the rolling ball and attempts to bring it back. The Corindai defence is right up on him. And the big Corindai forwards come through and put him on the ground. 
down and spreading the ball, ball wide. And man, there's been a bone crunching tackle on uh, Rando. Going to attempt to work the ball up towards the uh, 30 metre line again. And uh, David Madden there organising. David Madden in again to acting half as Rando. Well, here, the interesting the referee's decision here. It looks like a Corindai feed to me after Rando made the error. Rando bustling to take the ball forward from a good pass from David Madden and has made the error. Corindai feed the scrum almost on halfway to big Corey Wilson. Now goes out to the centres. And um, here we have a situation where Corey Wilson again on the move. And with his big frame on this wet ground, he's already having an impact on this game. The ball going wide to one of the big Corindai forwards. It was uh, Paul Allen. Again, Chris Clark. Corindai in possession, 40 metres out. And again, the Allen boys take the ball forward. Switched it wide again to Wilson. He's been the impact player in this game so far. He's put up a high kick, taken by Kane Allen. And the ball will come back to the quarter line. Brilliant play by Rando. That unfortunately far the lead to a try. As Corindai are in possession on the quarter line. And again the big forward spread it wide. Corindai come back to blind side and Snow Allen takes it up using his frame. And it takes three, four stone defenders to bring him down. Fred White again by Nathan Sherlock. Out to Corey Wilson. Pass going nowhere. And the referee. There was no advantage there for Scone, and so the scrum was set 40 metres out from the Corindai line. Well, that was a let off for Corindai. Rando did brilliant work leading up to what looked a possibility of a scone try. Under the post was not to be. Score is 4-0 in favour of Corindai. The lights are on here at Scone Park. As Corindai worked the blind side and made a few metres on the far side of the ground. And again, the big bulky Corindai forwards continue to take the ball forward. Once again, the Allen boys take it up to the halfway line. Nathan Sherlock waiting, calling for the ball. The little number nine. 
Sherlock's about to call for the ball and get it. Straight line to Corey Wilson. And Wilson is putting very Stone attack breaks down 30 metres out from Corindai's line. Stone player going forward there. They're only about 20 metres out. All the rando. Corindai are equal to the task holding them 10 metres out. On along the stone back line and a beautiful tackle there by the Corindai player to halt the attack, a little kick through and goes over the dead ball line and we will see a restart of play back on the quarterway line. Corindai holding on, they lead in the grand final by four points to nil due to a try by Aaron Allen. And again, the big Corindai forwards go up the center of the ground. And again, they go up the center of the ground. Good wet weather football. Trying to grind down the smaller stone pack. Oh, now this will be an interesting decision here. And the referee allows the ball to be played. And the halfback gives it to Corey Wilson. And Wilson is almost 40 metres out. Slow to get up, Wilson. Slowing the game down. Snow Allen takes it forward. Corindai attempting to slacken the pace of the game. The ball is kicked through. Kane Allen has it under control. Or did have. Plays the bunny, tries to step around. And made a very, very good break. Very strong tackle from Daniel Wilson. He's found an indiscretion there by Corindai. And Kevin Watts kicks for the line. Good line kick. We take play up to within 35 metres of the Corindai line. Kevin Watts. Ball goes to Watts. And then to his reserve forward. He makes a very Half time good score in Sydney. Shark 16, Brisbane 2. Kevin Watts again to Rando. For his outside. Try time this game. Stone are in. Looks like could possibly the outside centre. May have been Brad Adams. I'm not Good sure. Good try Centre number three. Brad Adams. Yes, the score is locked up at four on the never part scoreboard. Excellent pass from Kevin Watts out to Rando. Rando the double out is Taylor. three for the home side and two for away and they will be paid out at half time. They play up to within 35 metres of the Corindai line. Kevin Watts, ball goes to Watts and then to his reserve forward. It makes a half very good run. Sydney, Shark 16, Brisbane 2. Kevin Watts again to Rando to his outside centre and it's try time for Scone. Scone are in. It looks it was possibly the outside centre. May have been Brad Adams. I am not Good certain right about that. Centre number three. Brad Adams. Yes, it was Brad Adams. Excellent pass from Kevin. Andrew Brown, second row forward for Scone has done most of the kicking as the players become fairly mud splattered it's going to be very difficult to pick them up i'll do my best for you i know this is andrew brown attempting to convert bradley adams try the scores are deadlocked at the moment for all brown attempting to put the scone thoroughbreds in front for the first time in the game Sailing fairly true and it's there all the way. 
And there's a successful by Andrew Brown. Team the Stone Power runs out of the lead of six points to four over Karindai. Shane Hayne brings play back to the halfway line. The winners of the um, Calcutta at the Willow Three for buying Brad Adams yesterday, winning $400, I believe, with Pitsun and Keane. Corey Wilson about to kick Or Jim Calvin. The ball comes on to the... And he's got play well. Madden away again. And by the lock forward, Tom Gleason. And the ball has gone out onto the far side of the ground. Came still in possession on the attack. Rando. Rando puts it on the ground. Brindo have it under control. And we see now the Brindo forwards attempt to bring the ball away from the own line. Tall man in the scone forwards, and again it comes wide to Adams, and running very wide in the scone and as they go out of our view. And the referee here is indicating that play will return to a scrum to be set 10 metres out from the Corindai line with scone in front in the grand final by six points to four. They attempt to bring the ball away, the Corindai inside bats. Winger coming in. Good ground made here by Corindai to take play out almost to the quarter line. Again with the back line or with another forward taking it up over the quarter. Looking for it now is another one of Corindai big front row forward he is. Uh, and um, that was Shane Allen. Shane Allen plays the ball. Nathan Sherlock was on the ground. Now we have Daniel Wilson. Uh, he's going to fend so quickly up on Daniel Wilson and it is a turnover and play the ball. Goes to Headley, very, very fast winger Headley, going in to take the ball up. Kevin Watts at acting half. And the situation here is Khan Gleeson has taken play to win 40 metres of the Corindai line. Rando looking for it, gets it, runs in and runs straight through before being held up 25 metres out. Scone go the blind side and are held up several metres from the Corindai line. Again, the ball is spun along the Scone back line that Corindai are equal to defending that situation. Kevin Watts does a little kick through. It's too big, it's over the dead ball line and play will come back here to be restarted at the Wadok line. The score is 6-4 here at Scone Oval in the grand final of 1999.
Nathan Sherlock, this outstanding young football. Feeds it on to Shane Allen. Brings play up over the corner. Sherlock again at our King Hart. Pins it wide to one of his other big forwards. No Allen it appears to be. Getting up towards the 40 metre line. A little Sherlock. Almost up to halfway. And uh, we have here some interference on behalf of David Madden it appeared to be. And Sherlock gains a penalty from that situation. And Corindai now restart play with the big number 10, Jason Allen, making good ground. Sherlock again. Sherlock organising the, the play here from the acting half position. He gives it back out here to another one of his running forwards. And now Corindai within... 35 metres of the line. Corey Wilson on the move. Big Corey takes about five players with him before he goes on the deck. A knock on there by the halfback. Walker in by Michael Allen. Michael Allen. Corindai in an excellent position. And the little knock on. has given Scone the advantage here to bring their attack away from their own line. Now David Madden is feeding the scrum. He does just that. Scone will play out to the quarter line. Up to the 40 metre line, Kevin Watts spinning it wide to Khan Gleeson, who's had an impression on this game. Two or three very good runs. Kevin Watts spinning it wide. Again, Watts gets it wide to Rando. Rando puts a little kick in. Hadley was coming through quickly. But Corindai is the equal to the task. Hadley is a very fast winger. Corindai player running across field and players situated in front of their own goalposts. Corindai spread the ball wide. But the defensive scone is equal to the task. Corindai up, almost 30 metres out. And Lineman has come in to report an incident here. Shane Hain may call out a scone player here. He's looking towards the scone team. And the player, Daryl Rando, walks over, but that is not unusual. And the scone player, maybe it is Clinton Adams. Maybe Clinton Adams or Adrian Gullidge. The referee is talking to the Scone player. The Scone captain is there. We may see a penalty here to Corindai on a report from the linesman. And that is exactly the situation as Daniel Wilson finds touch 40 metres out. Nathan Sherlock with the ball. Working his big forwards to take the ball almost to halfway. Again, Sherlock finds a way through. No Allen. Corey Wilson's held up 30 odd metres out. Holland has taken the ball up. And again, Nathan Sherlock on the move. Ball is spun wide. Again to Corey Wilson. A long pass out 
for the front rower for Corindai and the ball has gone into touch. And we shall see a scrum here. We'll play, we'll play the ball on the sixth tackle. It's a turnover for Scone. And the Corindai forwards are equal to the task. Kevin Adams. Kevin Watts through the park and we find now that Corindai are in protection. Corindai are attacking 10 metres out, 15 metres out from the line. The big Corindai forwards take it forward. Allen the half back. Sherlock in a dummy half. And Corindai are within metres of the line. Allen the half wants it. And Sherlock had a go on his own. And the referee Shane Hayne has penalised the Corindai players. And Scone will receive a penalty here, right on their line. <laughs> a fine touch, good, good ground gaining the kick. Kevin Watts gets it on to Clinton Adams. Very, and again, Khan Gleeson takes the ball forward strongly. Adrian Gollidge with the ball. Stone in possession, 40 metres out. And David Madden puts the ball high. And Smith, the Corindai uh, Smith, the Corindi fullback, Darren Smith, is about to bring the ball out. Stone defence have met him 10 metres out. Corindai to work the ball out. And they have play almost to the quarter line. Again, Corindai falls, running strong. Coming up towards the 40 metre line. Again, running wide with the ball is Holland. Holland is down on the 40 metre line. Bella gets it away. A little kick through here by Daniel Wilkins. And that's the right play for these conditions. That is the right play for these conditions. Rendai continue on the attack. Rendai is going forward. 30 metres out. Again and again, the Allen boys go forward. Shellock beats the blind side. And Corindai go to within several metres of the line. The half wants it. Allen tries on his own. Corey Wilson puts the ball up. And Stone has knocked on. Stone has certainly knocked on. Very strong position now. As it will feed the scrum. Fed by Allen, the halfback for Corindai, picked up by Holland, knocked back I think, but now Stoner in possession, and here we go, oh, and there we have a situation here, the Corindai player will be questioned here for a high tackle, it is the winger Aaron Allen, and moved in on Headley. 
very, very fast going winger. Aaron Allen has moved in as halt progress on Hedley. And we have a situation here at Scone Park at the moment with Scone leading Corindai, six points to four. As the game is getting towards half time, and we have a Scone Park on the ground. Now the situation here at Stone Oval is that Aaron Allen has been given 10 minutes in the bin. Aaron Allen looks to have been given. Yes, it is Aaron Allen. Stone player. As they take the kick the game ground to bring play over the halfway line. Adrian Brown is the kicker. Madden gives the ball on. He's going to take and play to within 30 metres of the Trindai line. Kevin Watts has pulled down and he will play the ball 15 metres out. The ball has gone wide. Morris, College it is, College is down, Kevin Watts, in the ball to Madden, down on the burst, and they are down 10 metres out, Stone continue to attack, and Stone look like they're in for another try, Stone has scored again. Great inside ball there from Scones captain coach Dale Red. I see Khan Gleason go in under the post. Take the score to Scone. 10, Corindo 4. Well, it was fitting that Khan Gleason scored that try because he's had a very, very good first half in this match. Has run strongly when he has had the ball. Kevin Watts. Hearing the ball to Madden. Scone on the burst. And they are down 10 metres out. Scone continue to attack. And Scone look like they're in for another try. Scone have scored again. Great inside ball there from Scone's captain coach Dale Red. I see Khan Gleason go in under the post. Take the score to Scone. 10, Corindo 4. Well, it was fitting that Khan Gleeson scored that try. They are going to be giving away a start here. It may be very, very hard to peg back. David Madden replacing Peter Wharton, who suffered an injury. He's unable to take his place. It's going to the extra. Conversion successful by number 11, Andrew Brown for Scone. So the Scone Tobits go to a lead of 12 points to 4 over the Corindai Grasshoppers. The referee, Shane Hain, brings play back to halfway. And Corey Wilson will kick off from that position to restart play. Scone in front, 12-4. Eight-point lead on a heavy ground. Brad Watts unloads to his captain. Rando is brought down. onto the wing to replace Hadley. Kevin Watts, David Madden, Darrell Rando. Still that. Held up. 40 metres out. The 
again the scan forwards go for the gully. Crid offence holding their scan attack once more. Rando. Sherlock feeds the ball away to his forwards to bring up once again. And again, Snow Allen runs very well up to the 40 metre line. Again, Sherlock feeds it away. And again, the big 5 8 Corey Wilson runs very strong. 35 metres out. Allen, Sherlock, Smith. Holland, and Holland has thrown the ball, would you believe, in a touch. Very ordinary pass there from Holland after the ball had gone along four or five Crindite players' hands. David Madden holding down the half spot, back spot. Kevin Watts in at lock. Madden. And loads. Can Allen Watts going uh, 35 meters out. And again they come forward, and again David Madden. Looking for support, and it's there. Stone attack again. Rando out to his winger. And they may wait on this situation here as play comes out again. for what is possibly a line dropout. No, they play it 10 metres out. Corindai bring the ball forward up towards the quarter line. Sherlock again. This highly promising young player. And again, Daniel Wilson takes the ball forward. Ball goes wide again. And one of the Allen boys takes the play up almost to halfway. Sherlock. Ball goes wide to Daniel Wilson, who's taken play over halfway. He unloads the big brother, Corey. Corey has unloaded to his wing, who streaks down the sideline and pull down 15 metres out. Again, Corindai attack. And again, the ball has gone loose. Loose ball and Scone fall on it. And we have a situation here where Corindai are in an attacking David. position. Crindai with the ball. Now what will Corindai do? They may kick for goal here. And on a wet day is not a bad option. There's eight points in the ball game. The grand final of 1999 has the Scone Thoroughbreds on 12 points. And the Corindai Grasshoppers are on four. This kick under normal conditions would be relatively easily but on a wet day with a slippery ball there are no good things when it comes to goal kicking 
Sherlock's been impressive in the Corindo side, as have the Wilson brothers. And Khan Gleeson has played very well for Scone. And one wonders how David Madden wasn't in the run on side. He's been a very good organiser in his role. Oh, it's hit the post. Anything can happen here. And we have a situation here where Corindai once again will have the ball and will be in an attacking position. And I would say the situation is here, they'll have another kick of goal. Ball hit the upright and bounced back. They want some sand, so the kick of goal is what is going to happen. Here it's going over for the 1999 Grand Final. The Scone Thoroughbreds attempting back-to-back -back premierships lead by 12 points to four. <laughs> Tides have been scored by Brad Adams. The first try scorer for Scone. And Aaron Small, who now returns after spending 10 minutes in the sin bin, is moving back onto the field. He will notify the referee he is there. And now Corindai are back to a full complement, 13 players. Kick it goal by Clark, I think it is. And the flag arrives. Oh no, now the kick has been unsuccessful. Kick is unsuccessful. Very difficult to see here. In the sea of umbrellas. Corinda let the ball bounce. And the reserve forward comes away with it. Sherlock. And Holland is forced back. Half time. So Great half first half of football there, ladies and gentlemen. I think the players deserve a round of applause. It's uh, atrocious conditions. It's going to go into the lead 12 points to four at half time over Corindai. So you heard it all there at half time. Scone 12, Corindai 4 in the grand final of 1999. And the Kundai Grasshoppers. Our play has recommenced here in the second half of uh, the grand final. And bringing it away appears to be Clinton Adams, the tall forward in the uh, Scone side. And Gollidge has brought play up to 25 metre mark. Scone go up blind side and make good ground almost over the 40. The lights on here at Scone Oval as Scone bring play to the halfway line. David Madden and Madden will kick 
Darren Smith has the ball over his shoulder. And Darren Smith is about to bring play back 15 to 20 metres from his own line. Now, Corindai, winger, Aaron Small is pulled down. Big Corindai forwards going up over the 30. Corindai in possession, Snow Allen the captain. The little boy here lost a Knights football. If somebody happened to find, find his Snow Knights Allen. football, could they please bring it to the table? Sherlock, football. Sherlock away to Clark, and Clark is held up on the 40 metre line. Again, Corindai go wide for Daniel Wilson to keep, kick deep for Kane Allen. Kane Allen in possession of the football. And Kane Allen is eventually going to be put down 20 metres out from his line. Justin Hall's about to play the ball. And Scone have brought play out towards and over the 30 metre line. David Madden, a waiter, Khan Gleason, having a very good game. David Madden again. And the ball has gone wide along the Scone back line, and play is over the halfway. Interesting here to see the advantage being played, or will it? And so the referee decides that it's a Corindai ball and they are in a strong attacking position. It appears to be Garbaldi with the ball. Nathan Sherlock, Clark. Big, strong forward Clark has tackled on the quarter. Nathan Sherlock on his own. Noel Sydney Allen. score, Cronulla 40, Brisbane 14. Now to Smith, and there's a very strong run from Corindai. 15 metres out. Ball has gone wide, and the ball appears to have been lost. And he indicates the ball's been knocked backward. Aaron Small. Darren Smith. Oh, and unfortunate. Well, the interesting here, the referee indicates that Scone have the what could have been very easily a Corindai try. The ball becoming very slippery here at Scone Oval. Scone maintain their 12 four point lead. Scone will be in possession, I think, of the football. And the lights on here at Scone Oval as we come to within 35 minutes of the end of the grand final for 1999. Now Brown has made excellent ground with that kick. That sees play come back to the quarter line and stone forwards attempt to make ground towards the halfway. Could Trevor Long please go to the back of the grandstand. Trevor Long, could you please come to the Again. main grandstand? The back of the main grandstand. Thank you. Kevin Watts. College, it appears to be, is pulled down. Madden, Watts, Rando, and out to Bradley Watts. Corindai attacking strongly. Uh, Scone attacking strongly. David Madden, the ball goes high, Corindo have it under control. And we probably see here that Corindo will be forced to drop out.
going in possession and again Clinton Adams makes very good ground. It's going in possession of the football, 35 metres out. And a loose ball on the ground. Scone still in possession. And the situation goes from our view here. As we wait on Scone back line to throw it along out to Kevin Watts as they dash for the corner. And it looks like Maybe another try to Bradley Watts. Khan Gleeson. Khan Gleeson, so that is a just reward. The referee may not have awarded that try. Uh, the situation here is that... I've got a... Uh a little a wallet that's been handed in here. I think it's got M Daney on it. D A I N Y. M Daney, a wallet, a blue wallet. And take that at the table. So scone feed a scrum twenty metres out, twenty-five metres out. And the players halted fifteen metres out. Can't Gleason look like he like he may have scored. Referee was not happy. But the players once again go from our view. Well, they've gone up again, the crowd. And it looks like this time that a try has been scored in the left-hand corner. A try in the left-hand corner to number two, Justin Hall. Season favourite going to a lead of 16 points to four over the Corindo Grasshoppers. So one Just of... Just reminder, ladies and gentlemen, everybody stay behind the bucking, please. We much appreciate it. So we have here... D-A-I-N-Y, M. Daney, a wallet, a blue wallet. Take that at the table. So scone feed a scrum 20 metres out, 25 metres out. And players halted 15 metres out. Khan Gleeson looked like he, like he may have scored. Referee was not happy. As the players once again go from our view. Well, they've gone up again, the crowd. And it looks like this time that a try has been scored in the left-hand corner. A try in the left-hand corner to number two, Justin Hall. Season favourite go to a lead of 16 points to four over the Corindai Grasshoppers. So... Play situated on the quarter line. Nathan Sherlock affects the tackle on the Scone player. David Madden. In a, David Madden, he's had an excellent game. David Madden has got Rando.
Darryl Rando. Put your right there to Sky's captain, Darryl Rose. Darryl Rando. After some great lead-up work by Dave Madden. So that takes Stone on to 20 points. Corindai are on four. Says the power of go to a lead of 20 points to four over Corindai. One, one. On the quarter line. Nathan Sherlock affects the tackle on the Scone player. David Madden, been a David Madden, he's had an excellent game. David Madden, he got Rando in support. And there goes Rando, and Rando goes over the line. Daryl Rando. Right there to Scott's captain, Daryl Rose. Daryl Rando. After some great lead up work by Dave Madden. Taking the honours in his clash with Sherlock. This very good goal kicker, Andrew Brown from Scone, is attempting to add two points to Scone's tally, and he has. Oh, it's a very successful story, man. Scone 20. Four. Brown has also Scoring had a good game here Sydney, this afternoon. Brunella 42, Brisbane 20. There was a suspicion that the Scone back row may be a little on the light side. But they have more than held their own with the big Corindai forwards on this heavy ground. Corey Wilson to affect the kickoff. And Khan Allen unloaded to Clinton Adams. And Rossi's big tall son has played very well today. Now Scone have brought play up almost to the 40 metre line. Golly. David Madden to Rando. Rando on the move again. This time, Clark brings him down. Again, Matt. And Smith has it under control, but loses the ball. And we have Justin Hall in possession. Justin Hall, Kane Allen. Are in possession, 25 metres out, with what looks now a certain winning lead, 22 points. Four four. Times, Sydney, 42, 20. Yeah. Yes, go now in again. And that is possibly David Madden for a try. Right of the post, to number nine, David Madden for Stone. So David so Madden has a lead of 24 points to four. Sydney next week. Melbourne will play Canterbury. Ball to Kane Allen. Scanner in possession. 25 metres out. With what looks now a certain winning lead. 22 points to four. Sydney 42-20. Yes, Scone now uh, in again. And that is possibly David Madden in for a try. Out of the post. And he is not frightened to run. Played very well. Scone all look all set now to record another first grade victory in this group. Winners last year. I think they have won more premierships than any other side in group 21. Andrew Brown's kick. Andrew pops one. Andrew's good goal there to Andrew Brown. Since the score goes, Scott Power is 26. Quick by four. So Andrew Brown kicks the goal. He's one of the players playing in the back row for Scone, and there was a theory that maybe they'd be too light on a heavy ground. They've certainly proved their worth here today. The 
The major semi-final is almost a repeat. Here this afternoon. Kane Allen unloads the ball. He's going to almost out to the quarter line again. Stoner up to the 30 metre line and beyond. And again, David Madden engineers his players to run off him. David Madden again. And then play taken to the 40 metre line in Corindo's area. Rando. Corindo in position. Corindai struggling, struggling to regroup. Sherlock at acting half. Sherlock again at acting half. There's no Allen. Allen runs hard, but there should have been more of that. Sherlock. Dreadful pass. Brindai are going nowhere. Rando has them on the back foot. Scone have established a match winning lead in this year's grand final. A hollow victory over Denman last year. And this is almost a repeat of the major semi final here this afternoon. Out it goes to little Justin Hall. Did well to get it to Kane Allen. Kane Allen will play the ball. Justin Hall. Golly. Kang Gleason. Stone. Attack again. They're 30 metres out. The ball is spun wide to Kevin Watts. They pull down 10 metres from the line. Goan attacking the line of Corindai. Looking for more points. Rando on the boot. Hi, Gibson from Singleton. Could you um, try to go to the bus? Ty, Ty Gibson, could you please go to the bus? Corindai to drop out from their own line. They punch it deep. Kane Allen to Justin Hall. Dean Taylor wanting the ball. Dean Taylor will get it. And the player of the year is pulled down, gets it away. Ball has gone wide. Out to Adrian Gollidge. Kevin Watts. Don't get him close to the line. Five metres out. They've got 26 points on the board. They're trying to make it more. Rando, little kick through. Corindai cover it up and we'll have another line drop. Kevin Watts, the halfback from Scone. His dad played in the premiership sides of the 60s. Johnny was a winger. Kevin, his son, is a halfback. There'll be two blazers in the cupboard at home. One for dad and one for Kevin. Back to David Madden. To Justin Hall. He cleans up. Justin Hall will play it back to Kevin Watts. To Daryl Rando. Ball is loose and Corindai will come up in possession. The third has flown for Corindai. They are down by more than 20 points. 
on a rain-drenched oval here at Scone. As Shane Hain decides it's penalty time for Corindai. And they gain ground to go into Scone territory. It's a matter of statistics. As Corindai try to do something as their forwards take the ball forward. Referee has found an indiscretion. He will talk to the linesman regarding Nathan Sherlock, it looks like. Well, Sherlock is one of the boom young juniors under 18 in the Group 21 competition. Game Club would also like to take this opportunity to wish everybody, or every father, a happy Father's Day today. But on this day, Nathan has been outplayed by his more senior opposition, David Madden. Madden, the standout player in this team, together with Kane Gleeson. And I've been impressed with Clinton Adams. Scone, come back. 30 metres out. Corindai having trouble to put them on the deck. Corindai player to be spoken to here and strong possibility that Andrew Brown might be able to attempt another kick of goal. Very difficult from that position. He may kick for the line. He's going to kick for the line. This is Kevin Watt. Stone get to within 20 metres and their forwards run wide and take the ball to within 10. Again, Stone back line front, Rando. Dean Taylor goes in behind Rando. Stone attacks. Oh, yes! Yeah. 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 Good try there to number 13 for Scone. Khan Gleeson takes a score to 30 points to 4. Scone over the grass office. Now it's almost identical here, the points. As Scone get to within 20 metres, and their forwards run wide and take the ball to within 10. Again, the Scone back line functions. Rando. Dean Taylor goes in behind Rando. Going to attack the line. And that looked like Adrian Gollidge may have scored. It's either Brown or Gollidge in the mud-soaked jumpers. Good try there to number 13 for Scone. Can't believe Can't believe it. It. Takes the score. I wonder whether that will be the last goal we will see Darrell Rando kick on Stone Oval. It's the first goal I've seen him kick. Will it be the last? Is this Darrell Rando's final game for the Stone Thurrell? And what a hollow victory as it has been for him. Don't bring the play back again. Kevin Watts. Andrew Taylor. Um, Dean Taylor, rather. Linda in possession. Aaron Small. Clark. 
Pollock out to Zilla. And the Pumbaa play. Darren Smith, who is down 40 metres out from the stone line. Too little, too late from Corindai as they bring the play across field. Sherlock has played it. And Corindai have gone to within 25 metres as they attack the stone line. And I now pull down 10 out. And Corinda looked at a score here under the post. Too little, too late. So don't ask me what that's all about. The indiscretion there. will probably rule out. Oh. And Corinda looked like they'll score here under the post. Too little, too late. For the stone thoroughbreds. And Daryl Rando has now accomplished the feat of winning five first grade premierships in group 21. I know they tell me the six, uh, but only five of those have been in group 21, and he now joins. Congratulations, successful by number nine, Nathan Sherlock, to the score of game 32, Corinda 10. Now joins Herbie Irwin, Neil Barry, Chris Cummings, and Robert French centre from Aberdeen too who's played in five first the crowd down the southern end of the ground settle down Bruce his name escapes me for the moment as Dean Taylor is about to kick off <laughs> now we have a situation here where Corindai are in possession of the football, 15 metres out from their line, and the ball is swept along their back line, and they've taken play almost to the 30 metre line. The score here at the moment is 32 points to 10. Again, Corinda in possession of the football. And uh, here's Gabardi. Gabardi. And Gabardi is pulled down. What we expected earlier in the day has now occurred. Corey Wilson. Daniel Wilson. Corindai are 30 metres out after a very good run by Gabardi. I thought he'd been a little disappointing today, Gabardi, after his very good game against Corindai. Stone tying up the game as the minutes tick away. Corindai back in possession here at the football. 
light shining brightly on Scone Oval, the last grand final of this millennium. Scone have won 98 and then 99 and have won more premierships than any other team in Group 21. Burundi in possession. The forwards have taken the ball almost to the halfway. Sherlock. Daniel Wilson to the 40 metre line. Sherlock at acting half to Aaron Small. Aaron Allen rather. As the play goes from our view once again, Scanner in possession. Umbrellas come out again and our view is obscured, but the situation here is 32-10 on a bleak September day. Corindai in possession. Darren Smith is down with the Darren Smith the player. Corindai come wide. Score here in the major semi, I think, was 30 points to 10. And today's game has been a replica of that match. Players on halfway and scanner in position. David Madden, the playmaker for Scan today, has kicked and Holland is in possession of the football. Crindai back to halfway. the halfback wanting the ball. Will he get it? Oh, it's gone to another Corindai forward. Allen. Daniel Wilson looking for a break again. There's got to be Corey Wilson. Stoner in possession now, 30 metres out. Dean Taylor to play the ball. Gollidge is down. Gollidge on the almost to the 40 metres. 
again Madden directs the play and again he's going to drop the ball and Crindy will be in possession. As the day slips away here on Scone Oval, will this be the last time we see Daryl Rando in action? What an impact he has had in Group 21. An elite player with five Group 21 premierships under his belt. And in between that, the premiership away out of this group. Daniel Wilson puts a ball in the air. Race for the ball. Stone will be forced to drop out from their own post. Well, Corindai will go away from this game today disappointed that they haven't been able to improve on their major semi-final appearance here when Scone defeated them easily on a dry ground and today on a wet track. The Scone win has been just impressive. Darren Smith with the ball. Trindire 30 metres out. It's too little, too late. The ball is lost. Players are feeling the effects as they feed a scrum stone and have the ball 30 metres out from their own line. Again, Scone play the ball. Comes wide to Rando. Singleton are in. The situation here at Scone Park. Is that the game is coming to a conclusion with Darrell Rando winning his fifth Group 21 Premiership. It may be the, his last match on the Scone Oval. And so the situation here is that Scone is 32, Corindai are 10, and this match is coming to its conclusion. Scone attack the line, and they are in for another try. Take the score here to 36 points. Corindai are 10. And Andrew Brown may well have. Brown in the corner there too. Uh, Andrew Brown for Stan, so he's going to go to a lead of 30. Scone is 32. Corindai are 10. And this match is coming to its conclusion. and attack the line and they are in for another try take the score here to 36 points Corindai are 10 Scone quickly replied to lead 6-4 and the game has virtually been a procession since then Hard to pick a player out in the Corindai side.
as pretty well every member of that team has been outplayed by his respective number in the scone side. Corey Wilson had an impact on the game for the first 10 or 12 minutes. But overall, Scone has played very well as a team. David Madden being the playmaker. The kick of goal is unsuccessful. The ball's not successful, ladies and gentlemen. Go to the radio program, she's all over. away from the Stone Oval here with the presentations to be done. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, the RSL club tonight. There's a, a bistro there and also Man of the Match Awards and a disco, a bistro and a disco. Mr. Watts and then to his reserve forward. It makes a Half very good run. Sydney, Shark 16, Brisbane 2. Kevin Watts again to Rando to his outside centre and it's try time for Scone. Scone are in. It looks it was possibly the outside centre. May have been Brad Adams. I am not certain. The ball has gone wide to Morris. College it is. College is down. Kevin Watts. Hearing the ball to Madden. Scone on the burst. And they are down 10 metres out. Scone continue to attack. And Scone look like they're in for another try. Scone have scored again. And feet are scrum 20 metres out, 25 metres out. And players halted 15 metres out. Carl Gleeson looked like he, like he may have scored. Referee was not happy as the players once again go from our view. Well, they've gone up again, the crowd. Play situated on the quarter line. Nathan Sherlock affects the tackle on the Scone player. David Madden. In a, David Madden, he's had an excellent game. David Madden, he's got Rando in support. And there goes Rando. And Rando goes over the line. Has it under control, but loses the ball. And we have Justin Hall in possession. Justin Hall to Kane Allen. Scanner in possession, 25 metres out. With what looks now a certain winning lead, 22 points to four. And yes, Scanner in again. And that is possibly David Madden in for a try. Again, the Scone back line functions. Rando. Dean Taylor goes in behind Rando. Scone attack the line. And that looked like Adrian Gollidge may have scored. Inside the bread. Scone is 32. Corindaya 10. And this match is coming to its conclusion. Don't attack the line. And they are in for another try. Take the score here to... 
36 points. It's going. Congratulations, you're just too good. Uh, back to the support of the Crindai for making a trick. Terrible condition. And to the 17 files over there in the coach. Thanks a lot, boys. It was a great year. Thank you. Uh, Darren Smith, come this way. Aaron Allen, he's not here either. Uh, Jason Nolan, come here, brother. Corey Wilson. Nathan Sherlock. Mick Clark. Ken Allen. Daniel Wilson. Shane Allen. Darren Smith. Aaron Allen. Cameron Young. Mick Allen. Justin Beveridge. Wayne Griffiths. Peter Allen. Next, I'd like to call up the interchange um, referees we used to, uh, today, Mr. Johnny Day and Mr. Keith Casey. Fantastic. 
best supporters we've got. He's travelled everywhere with us. We've always got a great supporter of it. Dan Searle and Crindon, he's a sensational. And thanks, Mike, he's making it a lot, lot easier for us. Kane Owen. Owen. Justin Hall. Brad Adams. Dean Taylor. Wayne Headley. Um, Kevin Watts. Clinton Adams. Davy Madden. Adrian Dolich. Andrew Brown, Matthew Morris, Carl Gleason, Sean Dawson, Matthew Manning, Todd Lowry, Dallas Buckman, Thank you, Daryl. Thank you, Daryl. I'll we'll get it right, Darren. <laughs> right, I'd now like to call on Mr. Ron Lanesbury, Group 21 patron, Country Road League Vice President, to present the um, medals to the referees and touch judges and uh, name the player of the match. Thank you. Can I just congratulate Darren Randall and the Scone players? Plus the reserve graders and under 18s. Congratulations too for Crindy to make the green final. It was a great effort. Thank you. The referee, Mr. Shane Haynes. <laughs> Touch judges, Luke Knight and Peter Wild. And what is it waiting for, I imagine, the man of the match, Khan Gleeson. I'd just like to thank Crindy for a real hard game. They've been the best side, like other than us, I think, all year. And, um, you yeah, know, they always... Put on a really hard game, very physical game. To our blokes, um, you know, we're only a really small side, but um, we all stuck in there a bit of a go, and it was good. It's paid off now. Um, just like Pete Ward, too, thanks for, you know, what he did. He pulled himself out when he had a broken thumb. Pretty good of him. Um, <laughs> that didn't sound very good. Um, no, nah, just thanks for the crowd. Turning up with such a bad day, and everyone have a good time. Thanks. Well, that concludes the presentation. Um, the Scone boys can do the lap of honour. Um, thank you to the um, Quindite people for coming down. Thanks for the game. Thank you to the people that um, travelled. Uh, have a safe trip home, and I hope to see you all next year. Thank you very much. Just a um, lost property. We have a young lady here who's lost a black and blue Sikorni bag. She left it underneath the grandstand. It has a CD player in it. It's gone missing. If anyone has seen it, could they please come to the um, control centre and see Patrick Gleeson? Thank you.
Got him on his side, Red Sir wins. Well done, boys. Well done, the crowd. Anybody wants to help clean up, I'm sure you'll get a job today without any worries at all. Captain coach Dal Rando has won his fifth rugby league grand final with the Thoroughbreds and his sixth premiership in a row. Rando led Scone to a convincing 36-10 win against Corindai in the Group 21 decider in what could have been his last game with the club. It wasn't the best of days in the Upper Hunter and when Scone went for the up and under it didn't get much better. Luck shining for Corindai early with Aaron Allen picking up the pieces to race away for the first try. A forward pass denied, Scone will reply a few minutes later, but Daryl Rando made no mistake when he set up Brad Adams. When Aaron Allen found the wrong part of Wayne Headley, the Grasshoppers number two spent ten minutes in the sin bin. Rando, though, was in a league of his own. Close to the line, he always found space, this time sending Carn Gleeson tri-bound. 12-4 at half-time, Gleeson looked to have bagged a double after the break, but the referee found otherwise. Not everyone got a clear view of the Thoroughbreds' next try, but Dean Taylor's pass did find Justin Hall in the corner. Dave Madden gave his skipper a clear run to the line, and while the grasshoppers couldn't get a hand on him, his teammates didn't miss. The game as good as over. A consolation four-pointer for Corey Wilson, but it was too little too late. Scone home 36 points to 10 to give Rando his sixth straight premiership, five of those at Scone. Rando may now play out his career on the North Coast, but for now, it's celebration time. <laughs>